Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna take you guys to Olive Young in Busan. Today, my mission is to discover new brands and new skincare products that I haven't yet introduced to you guys before. So just follow me and let's go skincare shopping like there's no tomorrow. Ooh, okay, so this is really interesting. This is about the number one collagen mask. And the, it's pretty pricey. It's supposed to be 13,000 won. Oh wow. And supposedly you're supposed to put it on your face like this. And then the part that soaks into your face, it becomes thinner. Do you see that? So this part is supposed to get all thin as it soaks into your skin. Tension up, derma fix, perfect. Uh, Ital collagen. Ooh, looks so fancy. Five probiotic complex, 5,000 ppm, ceramide. Is this Korean? I guess this is a Korean product, huh? Let's see. Wow, so the very first ingredient, hydrolyzed collagen, 742,000 ppm. Wow, this is Korean. It's made uh, at Cosmex manufacturing place. So this has been really popular these days. Hey, I see a familiar face here. Robectin, Dr. Maxica. Oh, and this one is sold out. This one is sold out. But today, I am here to look at new things. Something that I'm not used to. So let's check. Ooh, this is new. This is Metaheal Paper Mulberry 4D White Mask for brightening effect. I've never seen this one. And this is fairly new too. I know that um, like these type of masks where you have like circle stimulation points were kind of popular for a little bit but I've never tried these mm. Pukki Kaesan Mogong Taeyeok So this is for um, reducing skin puffiness and it's also for pore care as well. Ooh, interesting, interesting. I'm like trying to <laughs> squeeze it. I'm not sure how it would be, but it says Stone Energy Care Black Chip. Ooh. Oh, so. This is a very famous YouTuber named Yuna and she's very popular uh, for her contents, especially for skincare. And she does really great contents and her tips are very realistic, but it's great. And here, it's on sale. Usually it was at 4,000 won, but it's at 2,000 won. Oh wow. So this is called Clusive made by Yuna. Tension Up Patch. Ooh. So it's a DIY pumping patch. Lifting brand type patch contains a high concentration of ingredients for skin elasticity that gently adheres uh, to areas with wrinkles. Ooh, so I think it's like a wrinkle patch. Well, I knew that she um, came up with like a healthy um, yogurt thing, it's like powder, healthy super food uh, powder and you're supposed to like mix it with um, your yogurt. I've tried that and that was really good. She's very very um, thorough within her researches. So yeah, I will leave her, um, her channel's link in the description as well. Mm -hmm. And you know, this is something that I've always wanted to try and I knew that in the beginning they were really popular but Dun, 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 dun. This is Belief. This is supposed to be sheet mask that you splash onto your face. So it only takes about 15 seconds. It's supposed to gently remove dead skin cells, your impurities, 
uh, delivering vitamins and it's also low pH. So you're supposed to use this for calming care and poor care. And supposedly you're supposed to just splash this onto your face and it's supposed to be like a sheet mask. So you're supposed to get 700 milliliters of water and then you're supposed to put in like um, 1 to 100 ratio. Ah, I see, I see. So you're supposed to put a little bit. I guess this is like highly concentrated. And you're supposed to splash it on your face after um, cleansing. This is a product that I always wanted to try, but I didn't get to. This is pretty expensive. It's 29,000 won. But if you're gonna use 100th of it, I bet you could use it for a long ass time. I wanted to always show you guys this section because in Korea, I told you there's not that many good deodorants, right? The only deodorants I've ever tried is like Nivea um, Dove or something like that but this is the deodorant section and this is all you get. You have everything Nivea, Nivea, Nivea and then is this deodorant? Okay so it's a Dio Fresh Body Skin. Oh interesting. Derma B. So I've never tried that. And they have Dio Fresh Body Primer. Wow, what's a body primer? Ah, it's odor care. So maybe you're supposed to put it on and prevent the odor, right? Oh, interesting. Oh, and this is a deodorant. Oh. Uh, this is also made in Korea. Derma M. Oh, has anyone tried this one before? Please let me know. It's very interesting. I've never seen that. And that looks like something that I cannot read. So I think this is maybe German, German brand. Let me know if you, if anyone knows. Oh, 맞다. It says 원산지 독일. So it's a German brand. Mmm. That looks very powerful. Uh, my unicorns from Germany, please let me know if this is good because I would love to try new deodorants and you guys gave me a lot of recommendations for deodorants so I really wanted to find a good one I'm at the sunscreen section it's all the products that I already have seen Dr. G, um, Cell Fusion C this is really well known that you can use it after like uh, treatments like after severe treatments, it's that gentle but I feel like it doesn't soak in that well. Honestly, I haven't tried everything, but I think I have tried this one. And it doesn't soak in as well as I would want it to, but it's really popular um, amongst people with sensitive skin types as well. Ooh, Hanskin came out with new things. I'm really happy with Hanskin's um, company, especially with uh, base makeup. They also have a brand name, um, Cell Cure, and I love, I love their um, BB cushion. So good. And I think they do a good job with coverage. So they do have uh, sun cover, UV cream, sun cover, UV base here. <gasps> Ooh! Sun cover, UV powder. Oh! Oh! Oh, I love it. You guys know that. Um, I can't recall. Super Goop. I have a Super Goop one. Wow. They have SPF 45, K. Oh, nice, Hanskin. Ooh. And we have AHC. We also have CMP. But we're here to try something new. Okay? We're here to try something new. We have Brain Green and oh, as you guys know, this is such a great cushion, uh, like tone up sun cushion. I love this one, but they do have a bit of white cast, but it just looks so nice on your skin. And I love the way this one soaks in. Mm -hmm. And they have like a bigger version. I've always wanted to try this because you, you can use it for face and body. So I feel like it'll make things easier. And we have Robectin as well. I love this one. The um, Aqua One UV Protector. It has a bit of a slight tone up, but it's non chemical filter, so it's great for sensitive skin types. This is fabulous. Ooh, and it's on sale too. 16,800 won. And we have Clairs up in here. Number one at Huahe. Represent. Oh man. Okay, so l let me stick with new ones. <laughs> Something new that I've never seen. 
Come on, you guys. I want to introduce you to. Ah, I'm so curious about this brand, B Plain, because I've never seen this brand before. But it's becoming so popular. I remember the first time I saw this brand was um, when they had ratings, and this was like the number two serum or something. And a second place, you have B Plain. Oh, that is a brand that I've never tried before. But you have the B Plain Sika Full Ample. I'm seeing a lot of this, and they're advertising it a lot on um, Korean Instagrams right now because we are on 2.5. Uh, in COVID, I'm not gonna try it on my uh, like uh, skin just to be you know extra safe. But I'm curious about this one. It's called Clean Ocean Moisture Sunscreen SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. I'm really curious. And Make Prem, their sunscreen is really good. I'm actually using their sun gel. I used it this morning as well. Completely transparent. Love it. I know a lot of people like this one because it's low irritants, it's mineral sunscreen, but it does have a white cast. If you're looking for something transparent and like essence like, I want to highly recommend the gel one, Make Prem gel one. So good. And I guess this is a famous player, Yagu Sunsu Yang Hyun Jongi Santekan Make Prem Sun Care. So I guess he's a very popular um, baseball player. And they're, they're like advertising it as he chose this one. Oh yes! I'm fairly new to these type of devices. Um, like for me, I have really sensitive skin so I don't use silicone brushes, cleansing brushes. But cleansing devices are really great. Like the silicone ones, they prevent bacteria from growing. And if you clean it really thoroughly afterwards, it'll be good. This one's fairly really cheap if you compare it to other popular brands. This is 28,801. Mm. I see. It's called Wiggle Wiggle Silicone. Oh, very cute. And then this one, it's something that I've used. I haven't used exactly this one. But when you go to dermatologist, when they do like peeling and when they're trying to get rid of uh, blackheads as well, they use this. It vibrates really fast and then you go onto your skin and it starts removing like dead skin cells, impurities and even blackheads as well. But I think you just have to be really like, hello there, do you see me? I see my reflection, hello. This is kind of like old school. I'm not sure because I don't, if I go to dermatologists these days, they don't use this for peeling. But you like five years ago, even like eight years ago, this was used like in all the dermatologists I went to for like the exfoliating steps. But now I think they focus more on your skin type. Like if you have sensitive skin, they'll use like enzymes. Um, if you have breakouts, if you have acne prone skin, they'll use like BHA, some type of peeling like that. So this one, I, I honestly think they don't use as much, but some people do still love it. This is called J.E. Me Pia. J.E. Me Pia, peeling, peeling product. And I guess this is like a Jamie Chia Toning. So it's like a toning device that helps to... Oh, hello there! Oh, peekaboo! Do you see me? I see me. <laughs> but yes, so I think this gives you like microcurrents to make sure to soak in and massage your skin. Mmm, and it's so light. So I feel like I could just carry it with me when I travel. It'd be kind of easy to use. Mmm. Oh, once again. Be plain again. This is such a popular product. I wonder if a very big brand is behind this, you know, because they market it so well and I'm seeing a lot of it. Or it can be that it's such a great product, so people are talking about it. But I see so much now. This is the Be Plain Sika Full Ample Relief Repairing 26,801. Okay, and we have the BHA Peeling Ample. Oh my gosh, I want to try this. Exfoliating Oil Control. I feel like it will have like a really thick type of texture. Mmm. But it does look a little bit strong. I wonder if it's like, if it has high percentages of BHA. So it has the first ingredient is 80% green tea. Ooh, okay, that's good. Yeah, they have salicylic acid, 2,200 ppm right there. Okay. Ah. Look, look at these marketing like things that makes you want to buy it. It says 3초 serum. So it means that it's a three second serum. 
They're saying like it sells out every three seconds, you know? Oh. It's called Toridin. Toridin Dive In Serum. Low molecule hyaluronic acid with deep pentanol. Ooh, oh wow. So they have this like right smack on the uh, packaging. No mineral oil. <gasps> All of these like I guess um, things that can be irritating for your skin. Mm. What do you guys think? Do you guys like it when the brand always lets you know like no artificial fragrance or no artificial you know like coloring, no mineral oil and things like that? I'm curious does this really help? Uh, when you before you purchase a product, you know, because everyone has different standards when they do purchase a skincare product. I'm really curious if that is also like a um, factor that you look do look at when you choose your you know products. All right, anything new? I see Propolis Light Ample from Cosrx Banyo Serum is so popular, the galactomyces and I guess niacinamide and Banya Gongjang, they always have good prices too. So this is like 20,000 won without sale. So that's pretty good. Is anything new that I see that I want to try? Um, CMP, these are like the best selling mists. A lot of people love this and I really like this. Celapi, this is a really good one too and they always do have sales. This one mists out so finely and it just feels so good on your skin. So this one is a really good one. But it's not as hydrating, but I just feel like you, may, you feel really good when you do spray it. And it's a really good price as well. Right now it's on sale. And oh, everything here I've, I've seen before. Everything I've seen here before. Ah! Okay, so this is a little bit new for me. I know that Celimix, 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 Celimix. I know that they're really popular for their like noni serums. But I guess they have also a um, like a moisturizing, balancing toner as well. Mm. But their serum is really popular and I've read a lot of good reviews and it's popular in Korea. And as you guys know, Isn't Tree Hyaluronic Acid is so popular. This reminds me of Claire's toner a lot because of the viscosity of how moisturizing it is. And it's humongo, so you use it for a very long time. And I feel like thanks to the like five different types of hyaluronic acids, you can definitely see a brightened tone afterwards. So this one's also really good if you want to see something like that, like instant, I guess, like uh, plumpness of skin. But I like the Rovectin one better, but this one's also really good. They're both very gentle. Um, I like the Rovectin one because that also helps to exfoliate your skin gently thanks to the enzymes. But this one is as good as well. I feel like if you have sensitive skin, and I think teen unicorns will love this. Yeah, this is a good one to definitely check out. And while I am on the hunt for new products, I've actually never seen this one. So let's check this one out. So Daeung Jaeak is like a, a brand that's very known for like medicine, pharmacy. So I guess this is uh, made by a pharmacy brand and it's called Rederma. Ooh, they have boosting essences. Rederma effect creams. My mom is a pharmacist, so if you guys want to see what kind of skincare products are sold at a Korean pharmacy, please let me know too. I would love to show that. Actually, my mom and I were discussing about that. Like, oh, would you know my unicorns be interested? I think it'll be kind of fun to show you like what do they sell, maybe her recommendations for skincare and stuff like that. So if you guys are curious, please do let me know. Oh, and this says it's the best. Cream 하나로 세운. 290억 판매 신화. Oh wow! So I guess they sold this much 290억 um, during this period of time and home shopping. Wow! And it's an all-in-one cream for elasticity, moisturizing, and brightening care. Okay. And EGF is such a great ingredient for anti-aging. Mm. In Korea, I think when you hear that something is made from like a pharmacy company, you have a really good image of it because you feel like you can trust it a little bit more and you feel like they have a longer history of doing this. 
So yeah, maybe that it works better. Like, like I've never heard of this brand before, but it says that it sold this much at a home shopping mall, you know? So they probably sold this for like a little bit older generation, you know, 30s or even 40s or 50s. So maybe that's why we haven't heard it, but now it's here, you know? I'm really glad that I started looking at products that I've never seen before. Oh, I'm having so much fun today. Oh my gosh, you guys. You guys know that Goodall is bomb. I love this green tangerine vitamin C dark spot serum. So gentle, really great for gentle exfoliating effect and brightening care. But, dun -da -da -da, I've never seen their apple line. Ooh, so this is something new. Wow, and they also have Daily Toner creates a clean skin with 0.1% AHA apple extracts. Oh, that's pretty. I feel like it's gonna be very gentle on your skin. I hope that they have like testers so I can try it a little bit later when the COVID situation gets better. <laughs> Hi guys! So I just wanted to do an outro here because I had to quickly come out of um, Olive Young Busan because it was time for me to get back to Seoul and I don't want to miss my KTX or SRT but any cowsies. Um, yes, yeah, so thank you so much for watching guys and I just wanted to say that this is one of my favorite series and I can tell that of course, it's one of your favorite series too because I really can feel the comments that you guys really love going skincare shopping with me. And me going to these offline shops, it's one of my favorite things to do as well. However, it's a little bit difficult these days because they're restraining, like they're changing their policies. Like some of the Olive Youngs and some of the Arik Youngs, they let me film, so I used to film there. However, they're saying that like I can't film there anymore. So there are so many times where I go to like a new one near my house or near my parents' house and then they, they say no, so I have to come out or from the beginning I ask and then they're like, no, you can't. So the policies are changing a lot, so I am officially con contacting a lot of like the marketing team for all live young Aritam, or any of the offline stores that i can take you guys along with me so please hang in there with me but yes until i get like answers back or until i can find branches where we can go there and go offline shopping i have a confession to make i did a crazy ass like spree uh on Aritam. So there's a lot of Iopip products, Laneige products, and the whole shebang, like um, um, Illy Yoon, and you know, it's a, everything's under Amor Pacific, so I got a lot of products from there. So I will have that video for you guys, and we can go online skincare shopping there, like there's all tomorrow, you I'm fine. But any cowsies, I love you guys, and this is a like random ass outro, but hope you guys enjoy, and I'm filming this with my phone, so the quality might not be that good, but hope you guys enjoyed. I love you. Subscribe, okay? It's about time. Please subscribe <laughs> and like this video. And I'll see you guys very soon. And hopefully, the marketing team will call me back for all of young. Bye, guys. Good night. <laughs>